Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, you got some o'clock. Ooh, that's you going Okay, this one's 7.30. Okay. It's, okay. It's 7.30. Hello, everyone. I'd like to call this uh, Woodbridge, Town of Woodbridge Zoning Board of Appeals meeting to order. Today is Monday, July 10th at 7.30 p.m. First order of business is the election of the um, chair for this board. Actually, do we need to seat one of the alternates? Well, we need to have a board before we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, but... It, <clears throat> oh, I see. You mean for the vote? Yeah. I suppose. Okay, That's we right. have myself and Dr. Nussbaum, we have um, Spencer, we have Hayes, and we have two alternates, and we're missing one permanent member, Atwood, I don't know. So. Well, up to you guys. It's up to you, too. Do you want to do it? Yes, let you know. It's, yeah, it's, it's first ahead. time. It's first Go time. Ahead. We'll break you we're in. Just, you're, in. You're, you're, you're the fifth <laughs> member for tonight's board. Very well. Okay. 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 So we're seating... Uh, Samar for Samir. Um, Samir for Atwood. Right. Okay. okay. Good. You're staying though, right? I'll stay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. First order of business is the, the um, election of a chair. Okay. I will nominate Alden for chair. Can I nominate or I can't nominate? What's that? Can I? I can't. No, because you're not. You're not seated. I'm not here. I nominate Cindy Gibbons for chair. All right, we need, we need a second for each of them. <laughs> right? So we don't have... I'll, yes, I'll, do. you, I'll you second that. All right, so that's done. So we don't have a second. We have a second. For him. For him. We have to call the motion. The motion was to nominate Mr. Hayes. Right. We have, don't we have to call the motion? Yeah. Deny the motion and... Or okay. Accept the motion. So we have a second. So go. So all right, right? Yeah. So all in favor of Alden for chair. For chair. Say aye. Say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Carries. Done. All right. Okay. I've had Stay. a pleasure serving all of you. Stay put. No, I'm not the chair. You can still it's a sit there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here you go. That's your chair. All yeah. right. So now we can proceed. Right. <laughs> Okay, and so our next order of business is to hear from Eric and Andrea Kalinsky concerning for Oak Hill Lane. Okay. All right, for the record, my name is John Paul Garcia. I'm and can you sign in? Yeah. Uh, my name is John Paul Garcia. I'm a licensed professional and engineer and land surveyor. License to practice the state of Connecticut Principal Office at 190 Fairwood Road in the town of Bethany. I'm here representing the Kalinskis in the matter of the construction of two retaining walls at their home at Four Oak Hill. With me tonight are the Kalinskis. Um, the reason we're here is just a little background, and Terry can correct me if I'm wrong. The town of Woodbridge has a regulation that requires no structures in the front setback. Uh, without a variance or a good reason. And by definition, a retaining wall, i.e. as opposed to a garden wall, but a retaining wall, one which retains earth, is considered a structure. So in that case, um, the Polinsky's home at Four Oak Hill have a number of perimeter walls existing that are in a poor state of repair. They're falling down. Uh, they're starting to get cracks in their driveway. And so they would like to come before the commission and re replace the wall with a more substantial wall. In order to do that, we need a variance because Woodbridge also has a interesting setback regulation. They have a 75 foot front yard setback. And since this is a corner lot, it has two front setbacks. But you also have a setback from the center line of road. So you have your 75 feet plus an additional amount depending on the street type and since this is uh, Rimmon or excuse me this is uh, Rimmon Road you have an additional uh, setback so your total setback is not 75 feet your total setback is 125 feet as measured from the center line of the road that line puts 
the front setback line as just about at the face of the house. So that means technically any type of wall work in the yard has to require a variance from this commission for repair. So that's the other reason why we're here. So we're here as, uh, as a hardship. These walls are falling down. The uh, driveway started to show signs of cracking. Um, there's actually a fairly substantial, you can't see it here, but there's a fairly substantial crack in the driveway just about over here. So as seen from the various roads, this would be looking at the house from uh, Oak Hill. This would be looking at the house at the corner. And this would be looking at the house from Rimmon. And these red lines are approximately the top of the wall. So they're about five foot high, five and a half foot high. So we're taking three walls, which are shown in brown on this sketch, and we're replacing it with two walls. And so that's the application before you. And you essentially would need a variance for pretty near anything that we did in the set. And you know, <laughs> from the face of wall or from the face of foundation over because of the 125 foot setback from the center line of Ribbon Road requirement. And that's basically it. You've got pictures of the, uh, of the wall condition and the wall he wants to build as part of your application package. You have the map which shows the existing walls and the proposed walls which are shown here in red. And that's basically it. It's a relatively innocuous. It'll clean up the property quite a bit, as you can see. It's, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty difficult to keep the area clear. He had a tree problem. He has a water problem. Part of the reason he has a water problem is because um, we think that the footing drains and the roof leaders discharge somewhere into these walls. We can't find where, and they bleed. And there's this area is constantly wet. One of the things that we're proposing to do is putting drains behind the walls tie it into a new drain out in the center of the yard and tie that down into a drainage ditch which runs along the uh, side of Rimmon Road. So that's basically the applications that's before you. Could, on that uh, drawing, could you show me where the existing walls are? The existing wall, there's one wall here. Oh, I can. There's a second wall here, which is going to be underneath this, the middle, this, the upper wall, and then there's a third wall here. And it shows up in the pictures here and from the end, you can see it also. And oh, then the replacement wall is going to be here and here. So in the drawings we have is these little there's three walls. These little circular things. Are yes, those are the, these are the there's one wall here. So these are existing. Yeah, there's one okay. under here. Yeah, I see. It. I, I, it, it yeah, it's obliterated by. Yes, that. Yeah. and then there's a third one here. Got it. So and they're falling down, and they're right. You so what you're proposing is this two new walls. That's solid, correct. This solid line. Okay. Well, you can see because I. I was there this morning, six o'clock. Um, you could I see. Didn't look, by the way. You could <laughs> see where. Yeah, I don't know if anybody took a drive or walked over there, but it's. So she wasn't a stalker. She. Was <laughs> <just looking. laughs> no, that's okay. Are you making it the same size? No, it's, it's we're going taller. from three to two, but they're going to be about five and a half feet high. And what that does is it it allows the wall to now be a little bit more structural, <laughs> a little bit more stable, and it allows him to. Um, encroach uh, not encroach the driveway, to uh, widen the driveway a little bit to make the driveway more usable. Right now, it's a very tight driveway. You know, when they did these things, it was a it was a different era, and so you know you're trying to clean up a mess that was created 55, 60 years ago. So, and and this now becomes structural, as opposed to these walls were, you know, theoretically structural, but they're also kind of decorative. Right. You mentioned the driveway. Pardon? You mentioned the driveway, there's yeah. you runoff or something, because there was something Yeah, you can see there was a hole in the driveway. You can see where the driveway's cracked and split and yeah. starting to lean towards the edge of the wall. And we think that he doesn't know, Eric doesn't know where the, where the uh, roof leaders discharge. We think it discharges into the area between the walls, which is why the water gets in there, gets underneath this wall. And this area here, and I've been here a couple of times when it's been saturated. You know, the ground is just, you, you can just barely walk. So one of the things we're going to try to do is when he does this, we're going to put in new uh, drainage to tie into a central leader system, pick up the drainage behind the walls, pick up the roof drainage from the house, direct it into a drain out into the center of the property, and direct that to the, uh, to the drainage ditch that exists in, uh, in Ribbon Road, and try to clean up a lot of messes at one time. Other questions? Are there, are there any alternatives that 
don't involve that? I mean, retain, we need a retaining wall. One, th yeah. there's, there's no alternative that does not require a retaining structure of some kind. There's, there's no alternative. No, because yeah. if, I, and I'll give you an example. Right now, he's proposing a conventional looking rubble stone wall. Mm -hmm. Well, if you wanted to retain earth, you can drive sheet piling, you can drive wood lagging. Those are also, by the definition of the Town of Woodbridge uh, building code structures. And since the, the front setback line against Rimmon Road is right against this house, anything you do here to hold back dirt is a structure and requires a trip to this commission. It also requires a trip to the Wetlands Commission. Because if this is approved, then tomorrow I have to make application for Thursday to go to the Inland Wetlands Commission because we have a pond here. So this is just step number one in a two-step process. But there's no, any, anything we use to try to remove the existing walls, replace the existing walls, is going to be classified as a structure. Right. And we're going to have a trip to this commission. Is that the lowest height, five and a half feet? That yeah, because we have to make up about 12 to 14 feet. And we're going to try to do it in two steps and then grade off the end of the driveway. So it actually varies from about six feet here to about three feet on this side. So it follows the ground because the ground slopes okay. up yeah. against Oak Hill. So it's going to follow the ground. It's not going to be you know, six foot all the way around. Okay. But it's going to be staged so that we pick up enough grade so that we can fix the driveway up here. And it's not, you know, a ski jump. Well, it's like I said, we're trying to fix a number of of issues. And one of those issues is it's a very tight turning radius. If you've been up there, it's there's not a lot of space up there. Anything you want to add to this, Terry, that we should be considering? <clears throat> well, I think it's under, it's important to understand the the underlying text of the uh, zoning regulation that brings them here. We have a, uh, we prohibit structures in the front yard. Um, this structure uh, is proposed to be in both front yards. We can talk about front yards. Our 75 foot front yard came to us in, you know, 1935. So we've had these big setbacks from, from, uh, yards since this modern era of regulation I guess it's uh, 19 December 24th 1932 we've had a 75 foot front yard <clears throat> at some point in the 70s Woodbridge decided to add a second front yard and that's one that's measured from the center road center line of the road and it's hard to tell from from the the legislative intent of that that second front yard, but I believed at the time is that we wanted to be sure that we had, uh, if we widen the road, uh, we could still maintain our 75 foot front yard. Well, I can tell you that times have changed. We have no interest in widening any roads, <laughs> <laughs> but we are left, in fact, when we can, we make them small, um, but we are left with this regulation nonetheless to deal with. The, um, I guess the issue of, the, of, of, a, of a wall being a structure can only be found in our definition of structures. And in our definition of structures, uh, in the front of our regulation, it, it lists uh, things that are not to be deemed a structure. And we talk about small structures six feet in any direction, not permanently attached to the ground, an ornamental well, a fence, a non-retaining wall. <laughs> so we presume that by that with such a specific direction, that things that retain are are there for structures, not relieved. So here we are. So that was the preface when I said that. And to give you a to give you a frame of reference, I think Woodbridge right now. I've got twelve of these walls going. I was at one this morning in Westport. We put that one right on the property line and we never did a zoning application. They don't care. Uh, most of the towns don't. Woodbridge is, and, 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 and Terry's analysis is correct. It doesn't say, it's what it doesn't say that brings us here. So, you know, and, and, and I don't disagree with it. Don't get me wrong. I think there's a lot of reason why I would not probably touch that regulation. <laughs> 
because you could be looking at 12 and 15 foot high walls being indiscriminately built in somebody's front yard and they'd look like, you know, what we don't want to see. So I, I'm not saying that I, I'm against it. I'm just saying that most towns, it, they're mute on that. This one is, is mute on just the opposite, which is why I prefaced this when I started this is saying the reason we're here is because this is a retained structure. And what they're proposing, by the way, is, is not only attractive, but it's a keeping with the neighborhood. I mean, this is a, a conventional, you know, I, and I actually checked the design of this thing. I actually have a set of calculations to make sure this thing doesn't overturn. So this is a conventional, you know, stone wall. He's going to use the stone which is here. He's actually got some of the other stuff is actually piled down here. If you were there at 6 o'clock, you saw some of the piles of stone he's got down here. We're actually removing about 250 feet of stone, stone from my own farm to have a neighbor build walls in her yard. <laughs> so, you know, this is something that's, like I said, I've got about a dozen of these going right now. Other questions? And you do plan to construct, they do plan to construct a standard size driveway as you stated in the- uh, Well, not, it, there's no such thing as a standard size driveway. What they're gonna do is they're gonna widen the edge to give them about 28 to 30 feet on this side and they're gonna give them a little bit more parking up here. Mm -hmm. Because right now, as you've been in here, yeah. it's very tight to back around yeah, in here. It. Yeah. So this gives them a little bit yeah. more and he's gonna and he's gonna and, and he's gonna edge this a little bit so that he's got something to keep people from going over the edge. Mm -hmm. They're still working on that architectural detail. I you know, I would tend to think that you might wanna look at um, these square timbers, which work very nicely. But the bottom line is he's just only widening this about three to four feet. He's making it wider this way so that he's got some parking space at the end. Mm -hmm. I also think it's real important not to have people backing out in the river row. Okay. It's yeah. It's a difficult <laughs> enough yeah. road in the first place. It's not a bad sight line, but it's still not a great sight line because you only got about 350 feet to the crest. Mm -hmm. And then when to the back, left. To, yeah. And backing is even more. Yeah. yeah. Are there other people who are here to testify, comment on this? So are we ready to close the questioning? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So? So? I make a motion to approve the application this day. A second. Was there any discussion here? No. No, of okay. no, no, no. us. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Any discussion of the motion? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Procedural question. Thank you so much. I worked so hard in the office. Yes. Yes. You can submit. Yes. Uh, uh, you have you. Oh, have you? Every, every time I try to buy it, seems yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch yeah. it. Yeah. And that's me. It's only me. But <laughs> third, I think it's first. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, within the package, the minutes before last meeting. I don't have any. Yeah, so I think, yeah, have to defer on the minutes. So is there any other? Mr. 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 Chair. Hmm? Mr. Chair. Yes. Um, I, I wonder if I could um, uh, give you some advanced notice of, of a thing that we're considering. Uh, the uh, Christine and I serve as on uh, as staff to three land use boards, and we notice that there are numerous um, uh, new faces on these boards, and we are endeavoring to ask the Connecticut Bar Association, the uh, uh, zoning and, and planning um, uh, committee of that, of that to um, ask them for some training. Uh, in in our various obligations and our our chores, and we wonder if you, as chair, would support the notion that if we can find it, we like to try to find somebody who's not who does not normally appear in front of the board, so that there's no you know Conflict. relationship set up, uh, you know, so that they don't have to 
come and ask you for something after they've scolded you about something. Um, and um, uh, in the past, we haven't done it for five or six years, uh, and it's the, the law changes, and, uh, uh, and, and we think that it might be a productive thing if you're so interested in participating. Yeah. Yeah, sounds I think we've got concurrence of the board. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep you advised then. Okay. We're, we're hoping to have it, you know, uh, some some evening uh, uh, here in Woodbridge. Uh, we're hoping to invite all three boards. Might be interesting to see the other boards too, the mm -hmm. faces, because while you do different things, it's a, it's kind of a one kettle of fish here. And would this be something open for members of the public to come observe? Anytime we meet, they certainly can. And and I think the last time we we did we did televise it, I think it, the last one I think is still running and in some sort of rotation. So. <laughs> Um, Any other business? Just a point of reference to the agenda, the approval of minutes, even though they weren't in the packet, the date is wrong on there. I think we met in June of 17, and it is June 12th. Yeah. Okay. Any other business? Do we have a motion to adjourn? I second that we adjourn. Okay. Adjourn. Paul Rodervi's on right now, so. What's that?